What's going on everybody? Today we are finally going to pick up the new trailer. As you can see, it's about midnight. We're about to take off right now. This is pretty exciting. All right, this is it. We're getting ready to take off now. Quick little fuel up right now. We're actually gonna pick up one of my buddies halfway up through Florida. He's gonna come with us to grab this trailer. What's up? From my black and gold, I guess I'm homegrown. Superstars, superstars, superstars out. Thanks, yeah. Diamond milk, yeah. Right there, that's the left right. one. Oh my god. Look at how shiny it is. Alright, so this is our trailer. This is our trailer. So, you could tell. This whole front half is all living space. Hold on, I'm gonna take a peek inside. Oh my god, no, we can't show that yet. I'll, we'll show that after. Oh, I look looking forward to this. Hold on. So this is this is a 50 foot, 50 foot gooseneck. Um, like I said, the front half is living quarters, the back half is garage space. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, this cook's sick. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna equip the GoPro, hook this thing up, and then I'll take you on a full tour here of this beautiful trailer. Here's the full tour of the tow rig setup right now. Sorry if the audio is junk, but I had to switch to the GoPro so you could truly see the size of this thing. Our other camera was just not picking it up. So like I said, 50 foot vintage outlaw, uh, 2016 Ford F-350 Platinum, uh, fully loaded interior package. Um, we'll come around the side here. Um, there's your water fill up. Here's the refrigerator, like vents, um, gray water tank drain, doo doo tank drain. There's where your generator goes. Here's the hot water heater, has the upgraded wheels on it. It's super tall, too. I don't know if the GoPro is giving you the effect, but I'm standing right next to it. It's super tall, 50 feet long, super long, crazy long. Um, the door folds out, and then another ramp folds out from that. I'll show you that in a second. Um, coming around to the other side, we have the exterior lights. Boom. Vintage Outlaw. Two outside plugs. There's one there, and there's one up here. And then here we have the door to get into the little garage area. But let me take you inside now. Let's go ahead and show you guys the inside here. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Here we go. We got the couch. Hold on, turn up, turn the lights on real quick. All right, so couch obviously turns into a bed. Uh, table here also turns into a bed. Up here, queen size bed, but we are gonna modify this to either uh, two twins or like a bunk bed setup. Uh, not sure what we're doing with this yet. But as you can see, there is no shortage of storage cabinets. Uh, up here, we have AC. Um, here is the climate control. And then moving over to the back half here, we have the refrigerator and freezer setup. We got the kitchen, full kitchen here, microwave, and then uh, my personal favorite, the bathroom. The thing is, with some of these trailers, uh, the toilet is in the shower, which is really weird, so this has a full bathroom where the toilet is completely separate from the shower and the sink, which is awesome, so yeah, that's the bathroom, and then here we have the access to the garage, boom, look at this, very, very large cargo space here, um, toolboxes, uh, I have another awesome announcement to make. We have partnered with a tool company that will be furnishing this entire thing for us. So 
Uh, I'll get back to you guys on that in a little bit, uh, maybe in the next video or something, but uh, here's that little fold-out ramp that I was talking about so that you could get extra low cars in this thing. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, it, this, the storage area is extremely large. And then we'll go back into the little living area because this is hands down my favorite part of the entire trailer is the fact that this is crazy. Look at Chow, he's lounging right now, maxing and relaxing, look at that, with the Sony radio. So that's our, that's our little setup. Hold on, I'm gonna climb up in the top and uh, get the shot from up here. All right. Oh my God, Chow, this is crazy from up here. So here is the, uh, the living quarters from the master bunk area. This is so sick. This is crazy. I honestly, I don't even know what to say right now. I am, it's like hard for me to even walk you guys around this trailer. I am absolutely speechless. I just want to give a massive, massive shout out to everybody who supported the Drift Starter Pack giveaway. You guys have truly blown me away with this. This is, this is absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to show some of you guys who end up coming to some events we go to. This will blow your mind. This is absolutely breathtaking to see in person a trailer like this. <laughs> you pull you pull up to your RV station, you pop this cap off and you just pull oh, that. So that's where some of the hate are born, huh? <laughs> I believe you can take the day to give you all <laughs> Back a little more, a little more. Hold it. Seems legit. Alright, this is it, the maiden voyage, let's see. Oh my god, you could feel the weight. You could feel it. Alright, well I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of learning to do here. I'm pulling a 50 foot gooseneck. The truck, the truck pulls it real easily, but you could really feel the suspension loaded up. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. Oh my God. Look at that toter. Did you show that toter yet? I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but I think we got this in the bag. I'm gonna get it home. So now we're cruising on the highway, and this is truly where this whole setup shines because the truck pulls it like absolutely nothing, and it rides like a cloud still. So we're just kind of like just cruising along, and it's just wonderful, magnificent. For anyone wondering, check this out. Date of manufacture, April 2018. Brand new, just rolled off the assembly line. This setup is an absolute match made in heaven. This truck pulls this trailer down the highway so well, it feels like they were almost made for each other. I'm in love with this setup. We're like seven hours away, like 500 miles or something like that, so it should be a good ride back. Last fuel up before we get into Florida. Hopefully the last fuel up for the night, actually. We're pretty close. We're like at lower Georgia. So far, so good. The trailer is an absolute dream. Tow is super easy. Uh, we're a few hours away now. I'm starting to get a little bit tired because I drove straight there and we're going straight back. But it is what it is. We'll make it. We'll get back home. It is four in the morning. We have successfully made it back home. Well, yep, yeah, those are the loading lights. These are pretty goddamn bright. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Straight there and back though, we did it. If any of you guys have been uh, wondering where we've been, you know, the past couple days or week or whatever, been doing some uh, videos on my channel. Check them out. 
Got a link in the description. We did some funny stuff, did some cool stuff. I'm sure plenty of you guys have some more questions. I'll make a video probably tomorrow on my channel explaining a little bit more. I will put some more context to all of this. So subscribe, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This kind of looks like that house from that scary movie. fucking sick it had severe rod knock this shit sounded like it was gonna blow up oh, oh shit I, that's the connecting rod right there